Hi everyone. The given links are two sides of a right triangle. All three side links of the triangle are integers and together they form a Pythagorean triple. Find the length of the third side and tell whether it is a leg or the hypotenuse. So basically the difference between the leg and hypotenuse, the hypotenuse is always going to be the bigger number compared to the two legs. So we'll get started. Uh, here are some of our Pythagorean triples to make it a little easier. But uh, for this one, uh, especially if the numbers are close, we're just going to look at a squared plus b squared equals c squared. When the numbers are real close like that, this is probably your hypothesis, hypotenuse. So let's do that. a squared plus, um, let's see, 40 squared equals 41 squared. So you get a squared equals 41 squared minus 40 squared. We subtract from both sides. So that's going to give you a squared equals 81. And you take the positive uh, square root of both sides. So you get a equals 9. Now that's going to be a leg because it's the smallest side. And it's right here. <clears throat> the ones you really need to know are this top row here. So, now let's look at number 14. So these numbers are kind of far apart. So um, let's see if um, we already have the answers right there. So let's just do this. Uh, 12 squared plus 35 squared equals C squared. So you get 144 plus, and I don't know what 35 squared is, 35 squared is 1,225. Um, Add those together, and you get 1369 equals C squared. And if you square root both sides, take the positive square root, you get C equals 37. So that's going to be your hypotenuse because it's the biggest number. All right. Now we have um, 63 and 65. Now you see how these numbers are close together, kind of like these two were. So probably that's your hypotenuse, and we can go from that. We have a squared plus b squared, so 63 squared equals 65 squared. So you're going to get a squared equals 65 squared minus 63 squared. So when you do that, um, you're going to get um, a squared equals 256. You take the positive square root of both sides and you get a equals 16. And there it is. All right, and this one. So let's see what we can do with that. Now let's just act like we don't have the answers here. <clears throat> and let's just go for it. Let's just say 28 squared plus 45 squared equals C squared. So um, and why I put 29, uh, so 28 squared is 784. 45 squared is 2025. So add those together and you get uh, 2809. Take the positive square root of both sides and you're going to get 2809 is 53, so C equals 53. So we uh, got lucky on that. Since 53 is the smaller number, that means this is a leg. And this was also a leg, because it's the smaller numbers. Okay, let's try um, this one. 
These numbers are kind of far apart, so let's try um, 20 squared plus 29 squared equals C squared. So I know this one's 400, and I don't know this one, 29 squared is 841. Um, so you're going to add the 400 to that. That's easy. 12, uh, 41 equals C squared. Take the square root of that, and you get a decimal. So that means it's not a perfect square, and that means I did it wrong. So if you're not getting a perfect square, I got a decimal, uh, which what I got was 35... Point two two seven eight blah blah blah. So that means it's wrong. Now let's look and see where it's at. So basically, it's right here, and that means what we should have done is um, let the twenty nine be the hypotenuse. So let's do that, and we're going to get twenty squared plus b squared equals twenty nine squared. So we're going to get b squared equals 841 and then you're going to subtract your 20 squared which was 400. So b squared equals 441 and you take the square root of that and you get 21. So take your positive square root so b equals 21 which we had right here. And these two numbers are close together so that means uh, when they're really close like that, that's going to be your hypotenuse. And so this was a leg. So on this one, we're going to do uh, a squared plus 80 squared equals 89 squared. a squared equals 89 squared minus 80 squared. So that's 89 squared is 7,921 minus on this one you just square that which is 64 and add two zeros. So when you subtract uh, 6,400 you get a squared equals 1521. Take the positive square root of both sides and the square root of 1521 is 39. So A is 39. And that's a leg. Because it's small. Smaller than that. Alright. And then we have um, two more. So let's try this one. Let's try A squared plus 48 squared equals 55 squared. Let's just try that. So a squared equals 55 squared minus 48 squared. So 55 squared is 3,025 minus 48 squared, which is 23,04. Um, and subtract that. And you get 721 equals your a squared. So take the positive square root. And the positive square root, 721, gives you a decimal. So that means we did it wrong. And let's see where our answer is. It's right here. So basically, let's try it again. And we're going to do 55 squared plus 48 squared equals c squared. So that we're going to add these. So when you add those, you get 2304 plus 3025, which is 5329. Let's take the positive square root. And when you do that, you're going to get, um, we can just look here. This is going to be um, 73. So which one is it? It's this one right here. So it has to be 73. We're kind of cheating a little bit. All right. And the last one. 
6572 is here so let's just go with that and when you do it you get 65 squared plus 72 squared equals c squared and this is going to be your hypotenuse because it's going to be the bigger number c is always your hypotenuse all right so 65 squared is 4,225 plus 72 squared is 5,184 and add those together Oops, 5184 plus 4225 is 9409 equals C squared. You take the positive square root of both sides and you'll get um, 97 equals C. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.